Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida, nutritionist and chef, and welcome to Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some grilling. Yes, we're making shrimp kebabs today. I'm gonna show you guys how to use your indoor grill and make it feel like you're outside grilling because the food is gonna taste so delicious and it's gonna taste like it came straight off the grill. So most importantly, I'm gonna show you guys how to make sure your shrimp tastes nice and moist throughout the entire grilling process. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. All right guys, so let's go over this ingredients as tools list really quickly. On the tool side, you're gonna need a brush or a spoon, something to use to spread the marinade onto the shrimp while it's grilling. You're gonna need a grill pan or griddle. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. You can use a pan, but try to find something that can help you make grill marks in your shrimp. And then you're gonna need wood or kebab sticks and some oil to coat the pan. In regards to ingredients, you're gonna need shrimp, of course, Old Bay seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, minced garlic, and of course, green seasoning if you guys don't have green seasoning i have a great recipe for that on my youtube channel and i'll be sure to include the card in this video all right guys let's get started all right guys so here's my shrimp it's already clean and deveined and now we're just gonna jump right into the seasoning you can see i add a little bit of old bay i will add more at the end i add my onion and garlic powder I add my paprika. I believe in using some type of flavored paprika. So I usually use either smoked or Spanish because I like the flavor. I'm just not gonna add paprika just for, you know, color. It has to have some type of flavor, especially when we're not cooking with a lot of salt. And then of course, there goes my green season and I'm gonna include the card right here so that you guys can go ahead and click to see how you make that because you're gonna need that. That's gonna, that's what we're gonna use to tenderize the shrimp and that's what we're gonna use to enhance the flavor of the shrimp without adding additional salt which is very important we're just gonna go ahead and continue to massage the shrimp and we just want to keep massaging 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 the shrimp and so you have two options you can either cook the shrimp right here just like this or you can leave it for at least 30 minutes to let it marinate or you can even marinate it overnight um, I've marinated shrimp for maybe like up to two days before and it just enhances the flavor even more. So it's up to you. If you're in a rush, then you can grill it right now. But if you're not in a rush and you have some time, let it sit for like 30 minutes covered. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you a life hack. And the hack is before you grill anything, like kebab stick wise, you wanna soak it in water. So try to submerge the kebab sticks in water and that's gonna keep the wood sticks from burning. So that's what I'm doing right now. I soak them in water and then the kebab sticks that I have are like actually really big. So the only thing that I did was I went ahead and I just broke them like pretty much so that they're all the same size. Um, you could use a knife, you can use whatever you want. You can use a knife to like score it and then cut it. But you wanna make sure that all the sticks are the same size and that's pretty much what I did. All right, so now as you can see, I am putting my little shrimps on the kebab sticks. And I'm aware that I say shrimp weird. <laughs> But I'm putting it on the kebab sticks and what you want to do is make sure that they're flat. Um, meaning like they're not like scrunched up, you know, they're not like, you know, use the entirety of the kebab stick, if that makes sense. Spread out the shrimp as much as you can because you're going to see once you put it on the griddle or like whatever grill pan, you're going to need it to lay flat in order to get those marks if you can't get it to lay flat for whatever reason and you have like a weighted still then you can use that but once you have them flat you don't have to really worry about them once you flip them they'll grow perfectly straight so 
that's what I'm doing. And then you guys are going to see that I'm going to speed it up a little bit because it's pretty self-explanatory what I'm doing. I'm just taking each shrimp one by one and slowly from the base right over where the tail is, I'm putting it on the kebabs. And also I leave the tail on, um, but if you want to take the tail off, you can. I like the way it cooks and how it looks prettier aesthetically when you leave the tail on. Once you take the tail off the shrimp, you'll see that it'll curl up a little bit more. But if you ever did, don't panic. It's fine. Just next time, you know, if you're definitely, if you want to like, you know, please a party of people and look a little fancy, smancy, just leave the tail on and you'll see the difference. And one more thing that I wanted to mention is the way how I clean my shrimp, like after I devein it and like, you know, rinse it in cold water is I do put a little bit of either vinegar or like lemon juice on it or like if you use fresh lemon. That is just something we do in the Caribbean. We just clean anything that's like protein like we clean it. And so if you guys are wondering how I clean my shrimp, that's how I clean it. And you can use that tip at home if you'd like. Um, again, so now you guys can see, I'm not putting anything to waste. All that marinade, that's there. I'm going to put that right on top of that shrimp. And we're going to put all of that on top of the grill together. All of that is extra flavor. So guys, stay tuned for a quick message. And then we're going to go right into grilling. I'm going to show you guys how to grill this properly. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right guys, so now you can see I'm slowly but surely brushing the oil onto my hot, hot, hot griddle. And I'm just gonna make sure that literally any part of the grill that I think my shrimp kebabs may go on, I want to put oil on it. This is gonna help with the sticking, this is gonna help with the cooking, this is gonna help with the smokiness that's gonna happen. Just watch and just see. And I believe I got this griddle on Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. So if you want to get it, you can. On the other side, it's like a soft griddle for like pancakes. It's pretty cool. And so the kebabs, when you place them on the grill, you want to make sure that there's enough space in between them because you don't want it to start like sauteing. You want it to grill. And in order to grill, we need direct heat underneath the item. And so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch as it cooks. Um, I did speed it up a little bit, but you're go I want you guys to see the entire process. Also, once one side of the shrimp starts to turn pink, that's when you know it's ready to flip. I can't tell you, oh, it's going to take two minutes, it's going to take three minutes. Some people have different type of stove tops. Some people have electric. And I don't know what you're using. So you need to wash your shrimp. I always tell you guys, watch your food while you're cooking it. Watch it so you can see what's happening. Once you see that the shrimp is turning like a bright baby pink, then you're going to know that it's time to flip it. So one of the things when you're cooking any type of protein is you want to make sure that you're not constantly flipping it over, flipping it over, pressing it down, because that's how you get rid of the juiciness. You want to be very gentle with it, and that's what I'm doing right now. If you see me flip it over more than once, I just want to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. And also, I want to apply my green seasoning again, 
Yes, this is gonna make it extra juicy and extra flavorful. Now, if you wanna squeeze fresh lemon over this, then you can, but I'm telling you guys, this shrimp kebab recipe is absolutely delicious. My daughter loved it. Congratulations, guys. Now you're indoor grilling pros. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy your kebabs. I'll see you next time. Buggy body dish.